man who admitted to torturing and killing at least 10 cats in Escondido was just sentenced by a judge. CBS 8's Kelly Hesedal joins us live from the North County Courthouse with what happened at today's hearing. Kelly, what do you know so far? That's right, and the uh, defendant, Joshua Boyer, received the maximum sentence of eight years behind bars. I have to tell you that this courtroom was so packed that the bailiff actually had to bring in extra chairs, and even then there weren't enough seats for everyone. Now, uh, we heard from uh, several people today, including some of the uh, owners of these cats who have been waiting for this day for a very long time. It was their chance uh, to face Boyer directly, speak to him. Now, I should warn you, some of what you're about to hear is graphic. I think he evidence in Joshua Boyer's sheds included cats with needles stuck into them like pin cushions, cats attached to car batteries, and electrocuted, cats used as target practice with crossbows, cats chopped into bits with a machete. Cats zip tied to cages outside and left to die a slow and painful death in the heat without shade, water, or food. I have had nightmares since then of what happened. And I can't believe somebody could do such horrible things to animals. And I will live with the guilt of trusting him and handing the blanket cats over to him um, for the rest of my life. For a lot of tears in the courtroom today. Uh, the people you just heard from owned uh, those family pets believed to be tortured and killed by Boyer. Now, the first gentleman, uh, he talked about how his son cried for their cat Leonard and wanted to know what happened to him. Boyer, uh, who was wearing a mask, had his gaze down most of the time. His defense attorney has said uh, he struggles with mental health issues. The judge had ordered he undergo a psychiatric evaluation, uh, which is part of the reason that this case has dragged on so long. The San Diego Humane Society actually began investigating it back in 2019. And it was a GPS tracker on Leonard the cat that led investigators to Boyer. Uh, prosecutors say they found 10 deceased animals and other partial remains on his property. Uh, they discovered more than 125 pieces of evidence, including firearms and tools he used to torture the animals. Boyer's defense attorney told the judge uh, he was depressed over problems with his wife and her postpartum depression after the birth of their baby girl. So in court today, he apologized. I acted out in stupid ways that I, it's literally the biggest regret I'll ever have. And I'm extremely sorry for all the people who, whose pets that I have hurt. Now, prosecutors, prosecutors, that is, also pointed out that Boyer had actually been going on Craigslist uh, well before his daughter was even born, uh, trying to get cats that way. So they say it just isn't true that this was all related uh, to his wife's postpartum depression. Now, to be clear, he was sentenced to eight years behind bars. However, he's getting credit uh, for time served, which was four years. So he's looking at four years behind bars. And with good behavior, it's possible he could get out in two years. Kelly Hassett, all CBS 8.